Hi there, welcome to Recap City. Today, I am going to share a 2022 action drama movie titled Clean. Warning, spoilers ahead. Enjoy watching. The movie starts with a garbage truck stops in the middle of the night. Clean, our protagonist puts on his gloves as he gets ready for his night duty of garbage collection around the neighborhood. He gathers waste as well as some potentially usable leftover bits. He parks the vehicle when his shift is over and leaves early for home. He opens one of the tin cans he discovered and proceeds to an auto recycling facility. He feeds a stray dog nearby with the leftovers after eating part of it himself. Clean goes to a support group for addicts and talks about his violent background. Clean has lived alone in a workshop since divorcing his wife, and his daughter passed away a long time ago. The thoughts of what happened to his adored daughter, haunts and torments him. We recall flashbacks of him clutching a wrench and automobile explosions. He cooks and prepares food for his next door neighbor, a teenage girl named Dianda who is an orphan and lives with her grandmother. She thanks him for his compassion by giving him a handcrafted appreciation bracelet that she used to create for her parents. Outside the prison gates, a man called Michael is waiting for his son, Mikey. A vehicle comes over, and a few thugs get out to greet Mikey just as he is ready to go see his son. Instead, he drives off with them. Michael feels irritated but chooses to let it slide. That evening, Clean arrives at work with a revised garbage collection route. He finds himself cleaning up trash close to Michael's seafood restaurant. His armed thugs are engaged in a narcotic trafficking transaction that they transport via the fish's body. Michael is upset because the Chinese business partners they are working with are providing them with five less cocaine packets than the 200 specified. Clean often has dreams about not being able to defend his daughter. He sobs as he wakes from sleep, holding a picture of his daughter. Clean observes Diana strolling down the street in the morning because the school bus had not yet arrived due to the neighborhood service being discontinued. Clean drives her to school. He later fixes and gives Diana a bike that belonged to his daughter. Suddenly, Ethel, Diana's grandmother comes out of the house and tells him that the neighborhood used to be bustling with activity and families, but is now deserted and home to thugs and criminals. With his Chinese associates present, Michael is in the middle of a drug deal when he decides to make an example of one of them by hammering him to death for costing him money. Mikey is horrified by his father's cruelty and is at a loss for words. Clean continues his work in the evening. He sees the blood and glasses of the guy Michael killed earlier as he dumps the container in front of the seafood restaurant. Michael then makes a surprise appearance from behind Clean and apologizes for the odor. Clean declines Michael's offer of payment for tidying up the mess he caused this afternoon. The next day, while Clean examines the damage in his car when it breaks down in the middle of the road, a bunch of thugs pass by and pursue a man into an alleyway next to him. After thinking for a minute whether or not to help, Clean finally chooses to step up and try to help the man, but before he is able to, one of the thugs approaches from behind and knocks him out with a baseball bat. Clean wakes up in a hospital, getting a brain scan and we see flashbacks of him doing drugs. The doctor strongly recommends that he takes the prescribed medication, but Clean refuses as he's been addicted in the past. After going back to work, his boss tells him to take a few weeks off and call when he can drive. Clean insists he can drive, but his boss refuses to let him work. Clean drives by Diana's house and sees her sitting alone outside in the cold. She forgot her keys inside and her grandma isn't home. He asks if she is hungry and takes her back to his place for some home-cooked chicken. Diana is concerned about Clean, but he shrugs it off saying he is fine. Diana gets curious and starts snooping around the place and attempts to open a chest nearby, without asking for permission, but Clean stops her and tells her to not touch it. She gets upset and leaves. Meanwhile, Michael and his family are having dinner, but Mikey doesn't pay any attention to his father which makes him mad and he physically engages with his son. After insulting Mikey's friends, Mikey pulls a knife against his father's throat and says he is done with everything involving his father, and leaves the house. The next day, Clean drives by and sees Diana hanging out with some street punks. He says it's getting late and that her grandma will be worried. She coldly replies that he is not her father to order her around. The street punks get confrontational with Clean and order him to leave. Diana eventually relents and leaves to avoid an argument. Clean helps around the neighborhood by repainting graffiti and sealing broken windows on abandoned houses. He sees a figure walking inside one of the houses and breaks in to investigate. After walking to a room, he notices a toolbox and opens it, to find a similar looking wrench from his flashbacks. He takes the toolbox with him as he drives back home. Clean passes by Diana's house but sees her bike outside the thug's house from earlier. Inside, we see a drunk Diana trying to make her way out, but the other punks coerce her to stay and even start recording her. At the same time, a knock is heard on the door. A big guy opens the door, 
Clean sees Dianda struggling to get away from the men inside, the thug notices the empty toolbox on the floor and Clean smacks him across the face with the wrench. He then proceeds to beat everyone inside, left and right, with absolute ferocity and hatred. We see that one of the boys he beat was Michael's son. Clean takes Dianda outside to her grandmother. The next morning, Michael stands over his badly beaten son. His son needs surgery or he might never speak again, but Michael refuses, so his son can learn a lesson from his disobedience. Michael then watches the recording on the phone that captured Clean's identity. He orders Frank, one of the corrupt cops, to kill the girl and her grandma first so Clean can watch. Back at Clean, he's attempting to leave the city with Dianda and Ethel, but notices he's being followed. He gets pulled over but quickly realizes that the police officer is paid off by Michael and speeds off in a chase. His car starts breaking down, but he manages to make a quick turn near a barn and escape the cop. Later, the group stops by a diner, where the girls go to use the restroom inside, while Clean looks around the parking lot to steal a new car. Some of Michael's henchmen notice Clean's car. They enter the diner just as the girls were leaving. Clean spots their truck in the parking lot and kills the driver with a screwdriver and picks up his hatchet. Clean follows the rest of the thugs inside, who are chasing the girls through the back of the diner. Clean start chopping them up one by one, carving his way through them with the hatchet and saves the girls. After stopping at a motel for the night, Ethel blames Clean for putting them in danger and for not being able to return home. Clean vows to make things right and leaves the motel and returns back to the neighborhood. We see him at his workshop, which has been ransacked by Michael's men, he opens the chest to reveal a plush toy belonging to his daughter, and opens a hidden part underneath full of cash. He uses the money to buy himself weapons and prepare for his fight with Michael, who waits nervously for news on Clean. Frank gets a phone call and it is revealed that Clean is a professional assassin referred to as the Grim Reaper that disappeared years ago. Clean calls Michael and informs him that he has his address and will be coming for him. Clean cleans up and gets ready for the fight. Knowing that the Angel of Death is on his way to his residence, Michael has all of his men on high alert. Outside of Michael's house, Clean constructs a crude bomb and fastens it to a power box. Then, the bomb detonates and shuts the electricity off, Clean then drives his garbage truck into Michael's house. A gunfight happens, and Clean kills each of Michael's goons individually. He is shot by one of the thugs as he climbs the stairs to the second level in search of Michael. Clean keeps killing the henchman, but Frank ambushes him and shoots him. Clean then uses a flare gun to overpower Frank and kill him. He proceeds down the hallway where Michael beats him after getting the upper hand, Clean is able to get to his wrench and turn the fight around. Before he can kill him, Mikey appears from his room with a gun. Michael is relieved and believes his son will kill Clean, but Mikey shoots his father many times, finally killing him. Then Mikey tries to shoot Clean, but is out of bullets. Due to his injuries, he suddenly collapsed. Some time has passed after the incident, Dianda can be seen cycling through the neighborhood as more children are now playing in the streets. She observes a garbage truck coming up in the distance. She smiles and the movie ends. Help us grow this channel. Subscribe for more videos every day, turn on notifications and leave a like and a comment. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one.